fine host of the garter. What says my bully rook speaks scholarly and wisely? Truly, uh, truly, mine host, I must turn away some of my followers. Discard, bully Hercules. Cashier, let them wag. Trot, trot. <laughs> I sit at ten pounds a week. Thou art an emperor. Caesar, Kaiser, and Vizier. <laughs> Well, sirs, I am almost out at heels. There's no remedy. I must coney catch. I must shift. Young Ravens must have food. Which of you know Ford of this town? I can the white. He is of substance good. My honest lads, I will tell you what I am about. Two yards and more. <laughs> no quips, no pistol. Indeed, I am in the waist. Two yards about. <clears throat> But I am now about no waste. I am about thrift. Briefly, I do mean to make love to Ford's wife. <laughs> I spy entertainment in her. She discourses. She gives the leer of invitation. <laughs> now the report goes she hath all the rule of her husband's purse. He hath a legion of angels. To her, boy, say I. I've written me here a letter to her, and here another to Paige's wife, who even now gave me good looks too. <laughs> Examined my parts with most judicious oyard. <laughs> sometimes the beam of her view gilded my foot, sometimes my portly belly. <clears throat> then did the sun on Dunghill shine. I thank thee for that. Oh, she did so coarse all my exteriors with such a greedy intention that the appetite of her eye did seem to scorch me up like a burning glass. She bears the purse too. She is a region in Guyana, all gold and bounty. I will be cheaters to them both and they shall be exchequers to me. They shall be my East and West Indies. And I will trade to them both. <laughs> Go! Bear thou this letter to Mistress Page, thou this to Mistress Ford. We will thrive, lads. We will thrive. Shall I, Sir Ponderous of Troy, become, and by my side wear steel? Then, Lucifer, take all. Here, take the letter. I will keep the haviour of reputation. <laughs>